everyone, I'm the Nubist. You're watching the Nubist Colony, and today I figured I'd post a quick video on how to download, install, and properly use Memories of Zendor's desktop parser or the Mox desktop raid meter for Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, it's a very great program. You can find it at memoriesofzendor.com, and then you basically go to the desktop parser and here's a download link it's totally free these guys operate on a donation system so if you do like this program and you find yourself using it please kick them a few dollars so they keep it going uh, otherwise it becomes like why am I doing this so help these guys out and they'll continue to help us out anyway you download the file you get a zip file and it looks like this inside of the zip file you are going to see a readme and run parser.exe uh, you basically have to create a folder on your desktop, so I've done that, Mox, separate new folder, where you want your uh, raid parser to run from. So I've taken run parser and I've dropped it into that folder I created. When I did that, I can then install the parsing program itself. So when I do create, or when I do double click and install, it unpackages and you'll find that you'll have an identical copy of what I have here. Uh, Mox desktop parser, these four files essentially will be in that folder. To run Mox, you double click Mox desktop parser.exe. Go figure. Anyway, um, so here's what it's going to look like your first time. You're going to have log location, raid, personal, all these tabs, whatever. To set up combat logging for Mox, you first have to enable combat logging from within Star Wars. Let's do that. You're going to basically go to your uh, preference panel, combat logging, and enable combat logging to file. When you do that, your combat logs will be saved to your My Documents folder. So, where is that? Well, it's user based. I'm on Windows 7, so it's in the C drive. User, uh, the user that I have set up right now for these videos is Chris, because that's my name, whatever. Uh, Chris, My Documents, Star Wars The Old Republic, Combat Logs. Okay, so this is the file that was created once I enabled it. It's for today. Uh, you'll see 414, 2012, the time, whatever, all that crap. Um, and all you need to do is you need to click up here in the toolbar, copy the location, and go to your Mox, and paste it in there. Then you're good to go. Start, and this is already pulling data from the log that I had running prior. So anyway, I'm going to go back into Star Wars. And I'll show you kind of how this works. But first, how do I get it to stay on top? Click Options. Keep on top. Keep on top, yes. Opacity, you can change the opacity, the color. You can pop out certain frames. So if I want like, oh, I don't know, damage dealt. Here you go. It's a smaller um, you know, panel than, than anything else. Average DPS, 104. DPS, 104.6. Blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Um, it's really nice, handy even. Anyway, I'm going to leave it on the big big screen and, and show you guys kind of how it looks when you're in combat and give you a feel for you know what you can expect. So let's go find some mobs. Here's some some non uh, non elites and let's uh, let's mess these guys around. So there we go. So I'm just going to spam buttons. I don't really care, you know. Uh, I guess it doesn't even really matter, but you can see the shock overload, all this stuff. Uh, it does not take into account your uh, companion right now, but you get a good idea of what your personal DPS is like. So anyway, um, that's how that works. Now, that's for personal. That's for when you want to see how you're you know, performing against certain mobs out in the open world, or how your DPS is affected when you're attacking, say, a training dummy. So anyway... Uh, or you can set this whole thing up for your operations groups, and this is how you're going to do that. Everyone in your operations group has to have this program installed and running for it to work. Now, there's a raid tab here, and you're going to click that. This is to be done by your raid leader, whoever you're wishing to appoint uh, or put in charge of overseeing your whole raid parsing system for the guild. Uh, if you run like a DKP or whatever the fuck system you're running, whoever's doing that kind of stuff might be the better choice. Anyway, uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to click Generate Key. Server, I'm on the Fat Man. Guild, I'm in Renegade. It says Void there, it's a low B, but I'm in Renegade. And then I click Generate. Alright. Once that's done, it I click OK, and it puts the Raid key here and the Leader key here. You never want to give that out to your Raid. You just don't. Anyway... 
This is the key you're going to distribute to your RAID. Uh, everyone in the RAID has to use this key when they click Sync to RAID. Uh, basically, everyone has to put this key right in this box and then click Sync to RAID. Once they do that, it's going to start recording their data and putting it onto the web server. Okay, so after the RAID, what you can do is you can go back to their website and you can click RAID data. Then you can enter that same RAID key. Okay, so I'm going to click Stop. I'll just click Control C, Control V. Okay, I can click Get Data. So there you go. Here's the average DPS. You can break it down, melee attack, vicious slash, uh, all kinds of stuff. So this is, um, you know, basically a breakdown of what exactly was going on, right? So you get the hint uh, or the idea of what you're looking at here. Um, this is just the damage that I was doing, blah, blah, blah. Very neat. You can break it down for your raid and see it all online. Um, again, guys, this is a totally free program. Please help Memories of Zendor out. Keep this thing going because it's really handy for anyone running operations or any DPS whores that want to know how they perform and can tote their EPs or, or flex their EPs, whatever. Whatever the case, help these dudes out. This is getting long. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. Otherwise, enjoy Mox Desktop Parser. I'm the Nubis. This is the Nubis Colony. Peace out.